All right, now we've got our in-studio guests this morning and uh, we've got uh, from the Fiji Higher Education Commission, we've got um, Charmaine Kwan who, Kwan, who is the team leader, executive office, and as well as Epi Rawalai, who's the communications officer. Good morning, guys. Thank Good you morning. very much for coming this morning. Now, uh, we were talking earlier on and we were talking about uh, a conference, uh, Charmaine, maybe I can direct this question to you first. Um, uh, this is, uh, we've got two conferences um, that are being held in, in Fiji or in the Pacific for the first time. Tell us about that. Um, so we, we are very, very privileged um, to be hosting this at the Fiji Education Commission. Right. These are two prestigious conferences in quality assurance mm -hmm. in the higher education sector. So we bid for these conferences in 2014. And usually it's a conference, it's a forum, and so it's biannual. So this right, year it's, okay. a, it's a forum. Mm -hmm. And um, we, we are hosting INQUAHE. So INQUAHE is the international network for quality assurance agencies okay. in higher education. So that's about 200 agencies with that organization. Mm -hmm. um, professionals, so we're bringing this into the country so that people would gain off the expertise. So okay. that's more a global network. Mm -hmm. And then we have the APQ and Asia Pacific Quality Network that we're hosting as well. Okay. Um, more Asian focus. Right. So people that are registered from around the globe are from um, Chile, uh, Estonia, mm -hmm. Hong Kong, um, Europe, Russia. So it's pretty dynamic. It's, um, oh. yeah, it's, it's big. Yeah. So it, Sorry. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, it's beneficial for the Pacific region. We have never brought it down to the South Pacific. Mm -hmm. It's a very first. Um, say, for instance, next year, the conference will be held at the Kingdom of Bahrain. Not many of us would be privileged to even travel that far. Mm -hmm. So um, for whoever's out there, if they're in education or anything to do with quality assurance, you're more than welcome to attend the conference. Okay. Charmaine, just some of the topics that uh, will probably be discussed or um, you know, be uh, the focus of this uh, event. Okay, well, say for example, the theme for the, the international, the whole body one is um, quality assurance in higher education in changing times. Looking okay. at how ed higher education has changed over the many years, mm -hmm. we're celebrating the 25th year of existence for this body. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's the landscape, how, how it started off as institutions, whether it was small, whether it was just a classroom, mm -hmm. right to now, big buildings, um, the modes of teaching using technology. Mm -hmm. So all these practices that encompass the 21st century of learning, this is bringing the expertise so our Pacific Islanders could actually learn and and use it in the classrooms or at the universities. Mm. Epi, um, I know that registration has closed. What are the numbers like um, that you've received so far? For the the first one with Inquahi, it's um, 140. 140. Okay. And these <coughs> are the different countries? Yeah, 140 um. registered. Okay. And uh, for the next, the other one, the APQN, about 118 okay. delegates coming into the country. Wow. Yeah. And these are prestigious people. You have the ministers for education in those countries. Okay. Yeah. All right. um, maybe directors and board members of those agencies. For researchers, uh, policy makers. Policy makers. Okay. Um, and, and for us here in Fiji, the we have the registered? Uh, we have vice chancellors coming okay. in. Um, we have USP. We have Fulton College. The, mostly the heads, people that are around quality assurance. But we have uh, students. As long as they're members of these networks, mm -hmm. they're more than um, uh, able to come. Yeah. So yeah. where are we having this um, these two conferences? At the Intercontinental. Okay, um, so it's, it's a great time for. I mean, it, it's also good for those uh, that are coming into the country yes. from uh, faraway places to actually enjoy a little bit of the Fiji scenery. Yeah? So at the same time, we're marketing. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly <laughs> that. Okay, well, um, Effie, I know that um, these are the two conferences we mentioned. That this is the first time in the Pacific. Yeah. Is it the first? Uh, and not the last, are we uh, continuing to, um, are we open to uh, conferences like this? Well, for I think for, for quality assurance uh, agencies, uh, like they will be given a time to host it. Eh? Okay. Oh. We probably will ho be hosting this in the next 20 years, who knows, yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. Well, you know, thank you so much. Um, Charmaine, any last words? Um, yeah, it, just just for our nation, you know, for the benefits of the country, it's it's important for, uh, for our people to know that uh, the Fiji Higher Education Commission is working hard to raise the level of higher, the higher education sector and uh, bringing these two conferences over to a country. It is just to show that we are benchmarking our standards mm -hmm. and our practices against well-established agencies uh, uh, in the world. And uh, it's also a way of um, helping us to address uh, globalization issues in higher education and uh, when these experts come into a country, 
uh, we will be able to learn and uh, um, learn from their experiences, especially, and uh, the researches they have done uh, to help us with our higher education sector. Mm -hmm. yeah. Charmaine, any from you? Um, I just feel that it's a very prestigious time and whoever should come from around the region should make use of this conference. Uh, it's, it's a privilege for the Pacific region. I don't know if many of us will be fortunate enough to go to other countries to gain this knowledge and this expertise. So while it's here and we're bringing down a cohort of um, wealthy uh, ex experts into the country, make use of it. So that's my two cents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two cents is worth a lot, Charmaine. <laughs> Thank you so much, Charmaine Thank and Epi, for joining us this morning. I know you got your work cut out for you. Um, mm -hmm. The next, uh, well, uh, this is on the 25th, right? 25th yes. to the 27th that this is being held. Thank you so much, guys, and I uh, wish you well.